Hey, I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? Yeah. All right. Um, can you hear me? I, I can hear you now. All right. Where did I put the camera? There did I put the camera. <laughs> there to put the camera. Okay. This is, uh, we are live right now. Um, and we haven't done the guest thing, so I don't know how to properly do it. So, oh, okay. We'll just figure it out as we go. If anyone's in the chat, they can let us know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Devin. Hey, everybody. That's my son, Devin. He never yeah, wears a shirt, so he looks like he's naked all the time. <laughs> it is impromptu and unannounced, but if anyone does come in and uh, you want to leave us a comment to let us know that you can hear us and see us fine, that would be very helpful to us. Yes. Um, I am at the office, and Rich is at his home office with his assistant. <laughs> Hi, Devin. <laughs> um, Hi, Ed. Hi, Ed. He gets Hi. excited. He doesn't say anything. That's okay. That's the way kids are. That's the way yeah. I used to be, too. So we're, we'll uh, discuss a couple of the Black Friday deals coming up, and I have something in a box all boxed up here that is exciting. We've showed I'm it before, but out. not at this level. So Yay. It's an um, exciting day, everybody. Yeah. Loud and clear, Colby says. Very cool. Or Cody. Sorry. I am I have bad eyesight. You have bad. Uh, what should we talk sight. about first, though? Should, should we mention announce some of what's going on yeah yeah we're we're we've been we've been uh holding it back for so long we've been excited about it and every single time we would get one step closer it would be this like should we say it should we say it and then we were like oh no we can't because we're not in production yet or now we can't because we don't have pictures or whatever but i think i think that today is the day i think today is the day i think Let's let's excel. Let's celebrate and get excited about uh, the release of this. Yeah. Movie. Well, let, let let me show a couple things before the initial unboxing. Let me move the mic closer here. That should be close enough, I think. All right. Yeah, that's good enough for now. So uh, we have showed shown shown right. Yeah. Um, a product we've been working on, on a few videos and pictures and whatnot. So the information is out there that we've been working on something called Speedy. And we already offer a cooling fan for any 12 volt DC uh, setup. And this is a perfect accessory to go along with our cooling fans. Um, so today we were finalizing and we had kind of a last minute des design idea that we ended up not implementing because we like our mirror acrylic so much. We were looking to um, use mirror for the housing. And actually, Rich, now that I think about it, it's hard to see the engraving unless you're at a certain angle with the light. Yeah, we were, we were saying uh, at unless you're, you're head on, unless, unless you're straight on with it, it's kind of blurry. Uh, it, I honestly, I like the uh, the way that we ended up doing it, though. Yeah, and I'm, I have an example of that here I'll show. So the other idea was to do it just engraved in flat black plastic, but not anything to contrast. Um, no paint, no ink, no nothing like that. And yeah, you can't really see that too well either. Um, but so these were kind of in production. This is what you do at the... You have an idea of how you're going to make it, what you're going to do in the last minute. You're like, oh, wait, maybe this is better. Let's build one and try it. And maybe it's not. We've done right? that. We've done that about 10 million times in the past year. Exactly. <laughs> one, one product design. I mean, things get delayed, but we are here now. So And so this is what we eventually went with. The silver over the engraving, which nice. definitely is super visible and looks nice. Yep. Now, some of the packaging has to be uh, tweaked a little bit, but I'm not going to let that hold up the video. So, uh, like, we have brown boxes, so eventually maybe we'll want printed or get, get the labels or whatnot. I have to make a new pocket for the data cable, stuff like that. But this is it. In this box is production number one of a brand new product that we are launching now, this weekend, basically, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, so in, in, in two days. Yeah, 
not tomorrow, but Friday. So it'll be available to the general public on Friday. Now, I got to uh, explain that it is very limited. Our first production run is going to be under 100. Mm-hmm. So if you don't get on it now, it's going to be a bit of a, a wait. Well, yeah, control. and, and uh, almost 30 of them have already been spoken for by uh, dealers and distributors. So Right. We do have our dealers on board. I know that Sky High has just got a big shipment of uh, fannies and relay boxes, mm-hmm. and they very well might, might jump on these as well. Um, number one is probably spoken for, Rich. I think this is going to be the one we're going to sign. Oh, and, okay. Uh, is that going to Paul? Paul. Okay, G2 is going to get number one, I believe. Um, but here it is. Uh, we've showed it before, so it looks pretty much just like what you've seen if you've tuned in before. But for us, it's exciting that it's all here in its package. Uh, we do need little baggies, Rich, for the remote. But little, I made a bag, little, pocket. little bags and towels. Little bags. With seahorses and seashells on them. So, see how, see how, seashells, see how, see how, see how. It's going to come with a remote, right? And this plugs into that data cable, which is great. So, we have a little pocket for that. And what was the name of the guy on Star Trek with the uh, yellow skin? Yeah, data. <laughs> data, data, what's the difference? One is my name, one is not. That's his line. Oh, that's clever. So, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. I, I, I like I always like showing off the packaging anyway. You like showing the is. package. Speedy number one. Speedy number zero 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 one. This is a pulse width modulated DC fan speed controller. Yippee. And there it is. There it is in all its glory. Yeah, so you can see the labeling on there. Gorgeous. Power ground, remote turn on. We have a switch that can an optional switch you could plug in. Mm-hmm. And then our uh, data connector, the cable that goes to that remote I showed you, and then there's the outputs. That's beautiful. So you can see you can direct plug into three fannies, or you can switch it over to use it universally for your C flow fans, Atwoods, whatever they're called, any DC fan. And that's what it looks like. We haven't showed it with the labels because we never had the labels on there. A few of the tweaks that were done to the housing are for production level and that's where this is at this is production level mm-hmm. speedy oh, number one very proud of that and rich i didn't ask you but i put the s this way up is that correct <laughs> yes that's correct <laughs> most people will probably never see that but we can tell where the uh the bottom part of the s is so yeah all right so that's it this is speedy number one which is launching on friday it will be available in limited quantity initially and then if you uh if we run out our dealers may have them so that's it that's that's an exciting product here is speedy and black friday um along with other stuff we got rich go don't we have a um a sale that we're gonna do or do we not want to mention uh let's let let's wait i want the surprise see i noticed We've done um, pretty much what everybody else has done the past couple of years, where it seemed that sales get sooner and sooner uh, before Black Friday. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like the excitement of it being like one day. Um, right. We're going to have it limited to to that. We didn't start it this week. Like I think last year we did, mm-hmm. you know, the whole tail end of the month was the sale. Mm-hmm. Um, so this time it's uh, it's limited to starting on Black Friday. Yep. Uh, when's it end? It's going to end Monday night. So it'll at least give you a few days to see what the sale is. See if you got enough money to, in the bank. Yeah, yeah. Move some, move some money around from your checking, your savings, and your savings. Or if you're busy it. doing stuff, then you can finally get around to it on Sunday or whatever. Yep, yep. So cool. that'll be that'll be going from uh, Friday morning until Monday night. Okay, and that'll be so that we'll have stuff direct on our site, but also dealers, right? Dealers are right. authorized. We don't know what all our dealers. Yeah, are we don't doing. know what they're doing. They they know what they're authorized to do, and they're going to come up with their own little sales and packages and that right. whole deal. So check out the dealers. Uh, did mention that Sky High is now an official dealer, and they have inventory. That's correct. Um, they're actually a, a well, they're they're a distributor. I mean, they 
Yeah. They're really hauling a lot of spark product. And um, I think they've got the most out of everybody. Will you stop? <laughs> um, it's like, yeah, they home. do. So if we don't have inventory here and someone wants it shipped sooner rather than later, although we will be, I guess, accepting some back orders on some products. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not a problem it. for us to build them. The only thing is with speedy is once those go, once they're done, it's going to be at least January until we have parts to make them again. Right. And let me show everyone here a little bit of stuff and then we'll get to some comments and talk about some other things. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get this to reach without pulling the reach around it. Cord out. So I set up a little workstation here. we got a computer, and a television, a television screen. screen. We've got a workstation in here. <laughs> if anyone gets that reference. Um, so I set up, uh, actually color coordinated in the bins is all the yellow bins are for the remote. Ah. Um, the, the blue is the hardware. Smart. And uh, red is supposed to be the housing parts uh, for the main, the main housing, hmm. plus the stacks of the acrylic top and the HDP base, which don't fit in the little bins. It only so there's us, a little bit of coordination. It only and going took us two to years like, to get to get organized like that. Yeah, and this is only one little section of that, but we can then, when we go into mass mass production here, we can duplicate this over multiple workstations, uh, especially when we put in the new shelving. But just so everyone knows, looking at this, this is the parts we have to go into production at the end of this week and early next week. But like I said, it's in limited numbers. So there's not much more than this. Mm -hmm. Here's the remotes. We solder these here. We have all the parts, and we we uh, uh, build little housings. There's little brackets, um, all the housing parts for the remotes and whatnot. The plastic is relatively easy enough for us to make more. However, what's not easy enough is to get some of these components, which we ordered maybe six months ago for some of these. Mm -hmm. And when they're gone, we already ordered more, but they're not here yet. So like Rich said, it may be January. So once these run low, it's January till we can uh, make more. Yeah, it's it's tough. You yeah. guys know things are on boats, boats and hoes. Exactly. Um, Rich, are you able to read comments? I don't know. How do I? Uh, what are, I'm on. A... I don't know what your interface looks like. Like I said, we've never done this before. Let me see if I can pull up. Um, where am I here? And I can see them. We got 14 people in. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. I mean, we're on Facebook and YouTube. I'm, I'm sure ah, at the very least is. you'd be able to like just go to that video link. Yeah. Let's see. I don't like whatever the sound that is. I don't like it. What the high pitch? It's the laser. No, no, whatever. You're moving something. You're touching the microphone. Oh, I'm moving the microphone. Oh God, that sound! I I want to want to punch myself in the face. Really? Ah, oh, come on, stop! Seriously. I have to move it. Oh. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So I can get my tea and sit here. All right. Let's see. Notifications. Nope, not there. All right. I'll read the comments, and then you can help respond to what I read out loud. Oh, okay. But I have to drink some tea first. You don't have to. You want to. I do. Uh, let me see. Offering it as a kit. Okay, that's from Philip. Uh, yes. So we're probably going to have uh, what we're going to call the fanny pack. That'll be one speedy, two fannies, and two speedy links. That's the link that goes from speedy to fanny. It's a 10-foot barrel connector extension. Nice and plug-and-play installation there. And um, that'll be one package that you'll see. Um, there's also going to be two different versions of speedy. The one with the knob mounted to the housing that does not have a display. And then there's the one that does have a display and the remote knob with uh, an 18-foot flat 
uh, Cat 6 cable um, going from Speedy up to the dash. So those will be two different um, versions of Speedy that you can buy. And this is the connector. I just grabbed our test one off the bench here. Okay. But it's a barrel on uh, both ends that plugs into Speedy and directly into Fanny. So with the Fanny pack, you'd get two Fannies, a Speedy, and the cables to directly plug in um, the Fanny. So okay. makes it a little bit easier. I'll read the comments and then. All right. I can hear myself. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, it looks like we got a lot of comments on Facebook. I see Robert High Five again. I just remembered, Are you, is 12B Talk on tonight? Are we stepping on your show here? Um, if you're in commenting, I guess not, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's yeah, see. Yeah, all Facebook comments. I don't see any on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Going to make it a kit. Love it. Very nice. Goody, goody, goody. Good looking good. Very impressive product lineup. We'll be making a purchase this weekend. Thank you, Andy. Y'all made it happen with Sky High. Yes, we did, Robert. And it came from support from people like you. Guys that have been believing in us and supporting us. Um, Scott, you're another one. I mean, Randy, you're another one. You guys just, uh, you know, you've really helped boost our profile and, you know, our brand. And um, it means the world. Two guys that started out in his garage in uh, Philadelphia. And now we actually have a facility with people that we hired as employees. It's just, uh, we feel like grownups and it's great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Sometimes we do. Yeah. Uh, join late. Do you guys have Fanny available? Okay. So, Fanny, we've got, we just got an order for like 12 of them uh, to a dealer. And we're pretty good with cranking those things out uh, weekly. But with Black Friday coming up, it's going to make things a little challenging because we also have to make speedies um, and RBXs and Fannies and, or, and FBXs. But, um, I'm thinking it's about two weeks at this point, uh, because we have to make those 12 and then get into production of another batch. So, um, all this stuff will be available for purchase, but you're probably going to have to wait a couple weeks. So if you want to save, you know, and, and be out a, a couple weeks in, in inconvenience, it might be worth it for you. So pick up, pick up the deal and then just wait. Um, do we, do we want to release pricing for speedy? I think we should. Um, okay. So yeah. All right. So speedy by himself with the knob that is mounted to the chassis is 120. Okay. Speedy with the remote is 150. And then each speedy link which is a 10 foot barrel connector extension from Speedy to Fanny. They're 675 each. And um, when we have the sale, you'll find out what those will be. But, uh, but yeah. There we go. Um, okay. So cool. So we got that. And we got someone was in here from Hawaii, I saw. <laughs> what? Jeremy, why are you giving Randy a hard time? <laughs> um, I think Randy was asking about color options, and and that will be a thing. But the initial batch, yeah, is it's going to be very limited, right? So um, we're we're going to do the same, the same theme basically that we did with Fanny. Fanny has um, interchangeable color LED or um, acrylic up top, where the little um, honeycomb design is. So the center part of Speedy will have. Uh, where the gloss black is, that will be interchangeable with a different color. And then we will also offer the same color LED options that we have for Fanny, which is uh, orange, pink, green, blue, red. And I think that's it. The, the, the standard is white. The standard is white, correct. That comes with, uh, with Speedy. Um, Streamyard, is that what Ed, are you using Streamyard? No, it's Melon, the Melon app, which right. I believe Streamyard owns them, but this is through their uh, their app thing. Um, Josh asked, "How do I know 
if I have the V2 board in my four channel relay box, so I can order on the, uh, um, the, the onboard voltmeter. Hold on, let me grab one and I'll show you what to look for. Yep, Ed will show you. Edward will show you. So pricing on Speedy, okay, I love these products and your products, thank you. Buying myself and Joe both the Speedy. <laughs> Scott, that's great of you to do that. Joe's the man, you're the man too. Um, you guys make a great pair. You guys kind of remind me of um, John Robbie and um, uh, Mr. Gately. Uh, bonus okay. points if you ship the first 100 orders in a big fanny pack. That's very smart. We got to buy fanny packs then. It's more money. Uh, quite a bit of their proximal belt. Yes, you do, Jeremy. You guys, people like you, man. Thank you so much. Um, we free, bro. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. He said hiring Vega. Um, thanks for all the cool stuff. You're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I need a blue, 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 Speedy. You will get it. You just got to wait. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit. A hot minute and a half. Um, let me see. How do I know? If the, okay, he said it. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, please. Speedy is a he. Yes, Speedy's a he. What do you got a problem with that? So, is, what do we got to we got to make it a girl? I don't. I don't see a reason to do that. I actually think it's sexist if we make it a girl, just to be inclusive. How about that? How about that? But yeah, I. I don't know. I, I thought of Speedy and I thought of Speedy Gonzalez and I guess that just that just made the gender for me. So I want to make up. Oh, wait, where'd that go? Uh, hey, what happened to Aspen? What? Uh, nothing. That's not for you. Um, Who's mean? No, no. Don't worry about it. Uh, let me see. What happened to? Uh, let me see. This guy. Three extensions, a speedy, and a knob. Take my money, please. Okay, we will take your money. Um, let's see. Let's see. Orange and blue. Oh, yeah. Gator colors. Oh, yeah. John, John, John and Bobby, for sure. Oh, yeah. We'll be at shows. Um, we had a little bit of a situation uh, with Ed's vehicle. He had a, a crap van, and um, the engine blew. And we missed um, Ruckus. We were going to go to Ruckus uh, in North Carolina. We missed it. So we're planning to do more shows. Probably the most shows that we've done in a single year. We'll probably do that in 2022. Um, we're at the point now where we've got, uh, like I said, two employees who are extremely dependable and know their stuff and they crank things out um, that we can – you know, kind of leave, leave the roost and know that the fort's being held down. And, um, that, that will also free us up during the week to prepare for a show. That was a problem. Ed and I, I, Ed and I always had was getting ready for a show and trying to build and trying to fill orders at the same time. Uh, it just wasn't happening. So we feel a little bit more freed up and we're getting better at, um, you know, the, the retail gig, the, the, the tent and the displays and all that stuff. So we should be able to make a good push in 2022. So we need a new vehicle or a, another vehicle that runs. Yeah. Or I'll fix this one. Well, we'll see. All right. I want to answer uh, Josh Hyatt who asked if, how does he know what version of the uh, four channel relay box he has? Yes. So here is the PCB. So when the, one of the benefits of the our housing designs is you can see the PCB. You can either look at the label. This one says V2C. So when I do ABC, that's just a slight revision without changing the circuit. It might be maybe a component changed or something like that, or position changed a little bit. But V1, V2, that means the circuit actually has changed. So if you have a V2B or C, um, they should also have this three pin. Wait, am I on the right side? Yeah. Right above this switch is that white three pin connector. This isn't the best camera for this, but you can see there a three pin connector right above that slider switch. If it has that three pin connector, that's what the voltmeter plugs into. Yeah, that's the best way to tell, I think. Yeah. 
So just look for, you can look right through the acrylic. It's right behind the channel three switch port. If you look right behind there, you should see a three pin white connector. That's what the voltmeter plugs into. If it does not have that, then the voltmeter won't have anything to plug into. You'd have to like cut the cable off and extend the wire. And it's just, it, it's not as uh, clean, but the V the V ones are, you know, years old now. So uh, chances are we've sold more of this version than anything. Yeah. Um, so hopefully sure. you have that. Let us know if you do and want a voltmeter, we can uh, get that for you. So David, to answer your question, uh, Speedy is not like shipping. Okay. Shipping will start on Speedy next week. And when I say that starts shipping, I mean, we've gotten orders uh, from dealers and distributors already. So production is production has started today uh, with Speedy number one. And Ed showed that earlier. Uh, so production will be in full swing next week. But we have to catch up on those orders. I think there's like 30 of them right now. Uh, that's not counting any that come in on Black Friday. So you know, you figure it's going to be a couple weeks before, you know, we'll start to ship out those speedies. Um, but I think it's going to be worth the wait. I really think you guys are going to like it. It's very fun to play with. Um, the, uh, the, you know, we should do a video of this, Ed, because I was playing with it one day and I just kept doing it over and over again because it was fun. Pressing the button, like, we have, so it works with our push button switches. Okay. You can hook it up to an 18 foot extension cable that plugs into speedy to control the on and off speedy also has a remote wire in to control it that way but pressing the button and seeing it turn on and then when you turn the knob up and down the lights inside of speedy and the lights inside of fanny dim with speed right. and put that little design in there it was it was one of those designs that uh we could have released speedy a couple weeks earlier probably Remember, I asked you. I said, "Do you want the lights to dim with the with the control, or just yeah. be on?" And it was like, it was like, oh man, it would be really cool if." All right, let's add that little feature, and and you know, but there's a lot of those little tweaks that we did along the way that we're happy that we did because we're really happy with Speedy, and we think you guys are going to love it. Yeah, um, assembly went went well, and and packaging, like I said, there's only a few tweaks with where to put the wire, but. It fits nice and everything seems uh, strong, snug, and ready to go. So you you had um, some of those images you were cycling through. Yeah, could you see those? I could see them, uh, but Dylan was asking for you to go over. Yeah, do you want to talk about them while I put them up? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, hold on. All right, you see it? Nope. You do not. Oh, wait, you know what? <laughs> No. So now, now I'm on. I'm on the delay because of um, Facebook. So I got a little bit of delay. Okay. Oh, okay. So what you're looking at there, you got Speedy on the right, and you got the remote mounted, um, I guess, dash panel on the left. That is the uh, control knob and the display, and that is connected to Speedy via a uh, Cat Six cable. Uh, the front of Speedy, you can see the RJ45 connector there, little Ethernet port. That's where the Cat6 cable plugs in. And then the SW, that's where the switch harness would uh, plug in, the extension cable. You don't need to use that if you don't want to. but it right. is The option is that switch cable or the remote turn on right there. Right. Okay, there's a close-up of the remote coming up. I don't know how long your delay is. It just... No, it didn't come up yet. Yeah, there it is. Just came up. So it's it's a significant delay. Yep. So and this we... is din height, but more narrow. Yeah. That we we um we switched out those um, Phillips screws. Yeah, we have the um the Allen set screws. Yeah, the uh, Allen. They're, they're still they're on the way, way, right? Yeah, they haven't come in yet, but they'll be yeah. here. If we need to, we could ship like this in the meantime. Oh, hey, another thing I wanted to mention. This is unofficial, but I was uh, talking to Barnaby Lang of LAF, and uh, he makes six millimeter knobs that just may fit 
the splines on our knobs. And if that's the case, we would like to do some sort of partnership or at least uh, advertise that his knobs work with our speedy. Oh, the um, actual knob part. So we have this black, it's uh, aluminum. Actually. Yeah, it's, it's aluminum. Thing. Yeah. So yeah, it should be universal to slide mm -hmm. on. Uh, if now his, his are an inch. The smallest one he has is are an inch in diameter. Ours are 14 millimeters. Um, so I want to see if it covers the display at all. Yeah. Um, but it shouldn't be that bad. And I honestly think, you know, he's got some really, really cool designs. And, um, you know, we already partner with him with, uh, you know, selling switches for his switch panels and stuff. And we love his work. You know, he's, he guy's a, an artist and um, really, really does great, great work. So if we can support him and his business, we'll definitely yeah. do that. So he's going to send me a sample to see if uh, to see if it fits. And I, I'm kind of hoping that it does. We'll make it open to um, different versions. Oh, sure. And whatnot. So the remote in general, uh, the standard one as seen here, the display will show zero to, uh, was it 99 or 100? No, to 100, yep. For, for fan speed, it's a percentage of speed. And the knob is pretty self-explanatory. So we opted out of putting labels on here because mm -hmm. we just left is uh, slower and and. Uh, faster is to the right. I mean, yeah, people, people know how to turn the volume up and down. That, that's right. So we yeah. just kept it looking sleek. Yep. As, as much as possible, anyway. Um, here we have the output panel. So the the out where it says plus and minus is a universal out. Where it says fanny is those direct plug in cables. You would use either or, and there's a fuse inside that acts as a switch to switch between the two sets of outputs. Uh, from factory, we're going to set it up for fanny. So those three fanny outputs will be active. So you can connect one, two, or up to three fannies at a time. You can take that top off and then switch the fuse to the universal out if you have another fan. So that's the output side. And then here it is together again. The remote and... And there's just a top view. So it's just Allen, an Allen screw, uh, right, Rich, for the um, for the top, the four screws there to take that uh, cover off with the engraving. Yes. Um, that was also one thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, we offer Allen keys for the rest of, uh, you know, like the relay box and the fuse box. So I'm kind of thinking we might want to source um, some Allen keys for this one. You yeah. won't have to take it off often. It's not, um, you really shouldn't ever have to. But it, if you're it'll be it once out, to change that fuse if you want to switch outputs. So that's. Yeah. Now it's it's not as common. Like for instance, the relay box, you know, um, I think people might have a reason to take that off more often. But um, I think that sourcing it would help just because. You know, it's it's an odd size. It's a small size, and uh, but it's only four screws, uh, yeah. so, so it's no big deal. And you can see the holes there. The main terminals for power and whatnot are Phillips, so uh, it's just holes over the terminals to fit a number two screwdriver right through. Mm -hmm. um, also, the the big slots in the top is where you can put a screwdriver to mount uh, Speedy down. In the base, there are holes to fit Release. a screw through. And just like Fanny, Fanny is the same. It's the same uh, uh, shape, just a different aspect ratio, if you will. Mm -hmm. It's just shorter, um, not as wide as Fanny, but it's the same general shape and idea. So they match. So if you're using this with Fannies in a build and it's visible in any way, they all look like they match and go well together. Mm -hmm. It was very intentional. Yeah. Is the regular fused distro, oh, the FBX-12, okay to use under the hood um officially no but technically there's not really anything in there that would you know be affected by heat so much uh the only thing that we would be concerned about is just corrosion so if you're you know um exposed to a lot of humidity and heat you know you can get corrosion faster it's um it's just something that we would we would not recommend unless you had some sort of waterproof housing 
Uh, we've had people buy uh, or build even, you know, waterproof enclosures and just drill holes in the side and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it, it's um, it's not the best of environments for uh, the FBX 12, but we have had guys in the marine industry use these in their, um, I forget what they're called, but it's like in the hole where all their electronics are. They've mounted that in there and most of their stuff is all marine rated. So they've used the FBX 12 with great success. So yeah. it's, it's a yes and a no thing. We don't, we don't want like everybody to put it under the hood, but yeah, um, parts of it are weatherproof, but other parts are not, yeah. <laughs> um, but not that they're not. It's yeah, it's iffy. If it's a show car and not daily driven and depends on your climate, then yeah. Uh, if it's parked in a garage and driven just once in a while or trailered, then sure, no problem with that. If it's daily driven in like Wisconsin or Alaska or something like that, I'd be a little wary yeah. of that. Uh, my phone keeps going off because my other friend, Rich, Rich Wu, had a baby today. Hey! And, uh, yeah, Good. so congratulations to Rich and Becky. Great, guys. Girl. And so, yeah, Thanksgiving's... So the, the group text is going off and off and, <laughs> you know, all that sort of thing. So that's exciting. So I just want to... He's not watching. Obviously, he's busy. But if he ever watches this, then congratulations, Rich. Yeah. The yeah, Jer Jeremy, uh, I just want to say it again. Um you, you have been a, a big supporter, and I just want to acknowledge that again. Um, and uh, Josh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Ready for – I already have a Fanny, and I'm all in for Speedy. Yeah, man. It's the cool part about, you know, the way that we design products and release them to work with each other. So I was just on the phone um, a few minutes ago with G2, Paul from G2, yeah. and um, – you know, he's, he's asking me about Speedy and he wants to understand, you know. And I was like, well, you can run it off of a relay box. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, the Speedy's only going to draw about 10 amps, you know, uh, at max. So the relay box channels are designed to run up to 15 amps. So you could run an entire Speedy off of a relay box. And you could do it one of two ways. You could use the uh, pass-through which is on the edge of the RBX 4C8. So you have a fused distribution, which is always on. It's not switched. And then you could use the remote wire out of the RBX, let's say channel one, and trigger the fused block, the, the uh, to speedy on and off with, with that channel. So everything like, you know, works as a system. And uh, yeah, we design it to look like it works together. And we try to make everything nice and compatible and so that you have a reason to spend more money. <laughs> you got upgrades. You got new things to buy. And they're all systems that improve your install. And they work together. Uh, Larry, Speedy is available for pre-order starting Friday. Okay. And it's going to be filled in the order received. So we already have 30 on order. Yeah, we already have 30 that have been ordered. Um and it's just gonna it's just gonna increase on Friday, and we only have I think about ninety. Well, that's less thirty. So we got about sixty available to sell before we run out of parts and have to wait until January when the shipment comes in. Yeah. So yes, and as far as how long you'll have to wait, probably at least a couple weeks because we have to get into production and and um, ramp it up. Randy, thanks, pal. Scott, thanks. Uh, this is going to replace the stock cigarette lighter location on my dash of my excursion. Perfect. Yeah, you know, we were um, we were going back and forth with how we were going to make this remote dash um, solution. And one of the ideas was to make it into a single DIN. But then we thought, well, not everybody's going to want to replace their single DIN if they've already got one. So we figured a standalone module as the base would be a good starting point. And we haven't decided yet, but we're probably going to come out with a solution that works with the single DIN. Um, it's the same height already, and it's just a matter of making it work with the rest of what's there. And uh, it's probably going to be at least you know four switches and the readout. But um, again, we haven't finalized that yet, but... Again, 
another product that's going to work together with stuff that you've already bought and could be upgraded. I am a fanny or quality knobs. I don't, don't understand what that means. He's a fan for Barnaby's knobs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> He's a fanny of Oh, Barnaby. of. Okay. Misspelling. Yeah. That joke was completely lost on me because of your grammar mistake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till I order mine. Send me one to test. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll send, we'll send one to everybody to test. Why not? That speedy is something of art. Great work, job guy. Thanks, Rainy. Congrats. Send me speedy. I have two fannies myself. Can't wait to add them to my system. Awesome. Where's my shirt? David. Okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, Kate was supposed to reach out to you, and she forgot. She was very apologetic. Um, so here's the deal. We never ordered the triple X. We ordered the double X which was supposed to be the same size. It, 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 it was dumb because I told them it's going to be confusing, but basically they called the double X. The, no. Yeah. Called the triple X, double X in terms of its size. So she was actually going to send you measurements, like a size chart to show you. And it just got confusing and, and ended up, you know, just being weird. So one of two things, we can send you the double X. You can try it on, see if you like it. Um, or we can give you the dimensions and you let us know if you think it'll fit you. Uh, and short of that, I have a plan to get larger shirts because they have been requested. Uh, I might do another run of like 50 of those. So we might include you in on that one as well. But if all else fails, we'll give your money back. And we're really sorry that we dropped the ball on getting back to you with that information. But um, thank you for reminding me. Uh, let me see. That was the prototype singleton. Suggest you use integrating into your singleton switch panel. Yep. Yeah, that was that was one of the ideas um, early on as one of the prototypes when Ed was uh, trying to figure out how this thing would mount. And then, um, I don't know, I just felt it was taking up too much space, too much real estate. Right. Yeah, as a standard one, if someone wants to mount it in a, a console or a panel, even in the back or something, you didn't really need a plate this big. But mm -hmm. some people might want that, and there's room to put other things like the on-off switch uh, and another switch or a voltmeter. So, yeah, we can do that custom if there's requests for it. David, uh, Speedy is by himself 120. That's with the knob mounted to the chassis. No remote, no uh, display. And then the upgraded version has the remote uh, with the display integrated into it, and that's 150. And then, uh, like we said earlier, we're probably going to have some sale going on. The fanny pack is one of them, where uh, it's you know, two fannies, two links, speedy links, and uh, speedy with remote and without remote. But if you've already gotten fannies, Probably going to have a discounted price as well on Speedy on Friday. So look out for that as well. Yeah. And the golden ticket is still going on. I think we maybe put out two of them. At right. least one has gone out, I think. Okay. Um, I saw another one in the bin. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So um, that is still going on. So this weekend, if anyone is interested in ordering from our site, it's $150 and up. Any order you place. That is over $150 is eligible for us to randomly put the golden ticket in your box. So if you open your box and you see one of these, it means you win a prize. There's some instructions of how to uh, claim that prize. But if you do win it, there's fi only five of these going out. If you do win this ticket, you are automatically entered for us to choose at random one of those five for a grand prize. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a Josh Miller was the name. We have to um, get him a gift for winning the last one. Mm -hmm. um, but that is, that's the gist of our golden ticket giveaway that's going on right now. So you don't even have to wait till this weekend. You can place an order on the site right now if you want. And you are, you have a chance to be 
a recipient of the golden ticket. We're doing it at random. Any anyone that's over one hundred fifty dollars, we just kind of go eeny meeny miny mo. And David won. He, he already won, so just send it. He said. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, yeah, Jeremy, you got to spend your money, man. It's 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 money sitting out there. It's like free money, man. It's just sitting there doing nothing. Gotta still use got money. the credit, huh? Yeah. Hey, maybe this weekend you, you can use that credit. Yes, Randy did get a golden ticket. Randy was a winner too. Randy's on the ad, so. Hey, you <laughs> know what? No. Uh, Jeremy, you're the one that did the um, – with the shirt, right? You, you got the same shirt and uh, you did that photo shoot, I think, right? Uh, uh, with – with the music and stuff? No, 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 no. He he got the same shirt that Charlie had. Oh, oh, oh! I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. And he did a picture like the pose, right? I Looking think if the... if it's the one I'm thinking of, I I edited it a long time ago, and I put I put them side by side, and it actually looked really cool. Like it looked, he looked like Charlie Bucket. Yeah, that yeah. was him. Okay, cool. Um, I gotta find that picture and and share it because it. I don't know why I haven't shared it yet. It was, it was a real, it turned out really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. El Fuego wants a, uh, um, oh, yeah, David was. Yeah. thanks David. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, we, uh, we appreciate you guys. This, this wouldn't be possible without the support from you guys. I mean, the base head community is pretty much like right. the Thank main, you industry the main market the main community uh that that allowed us to get to this point you um, allowed us to grow and buy this oven yeah which i rarely use but it's very useful for what it is and appreciate that you know yep and i nice. that's i say that jokingly but at the same time that's super serious like something that's, like that's we, ed's way of being serious right i could take one thing out of this shop like like the oven or the the reflow oven over there or um all of our plastic stacked up all this stuff that i normally would never have you know in my life if it wasn't for this mm -hmm. so it's it's a special thing i think it is jeremy it's a convection oven too so we could probably cook a pie in there yeah, I did cut pizza on the laser cutter when I used to have all the stuff at my house when my garage was the uh, uh, facility. Um, oh, God, yeah. I think I tried to do a pumpkin pie also, but it tastes like carbon, <laughs> like burnt. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I remember doing assembly of relay boxes on that white table in your garage. Yeah. And feeling like. Like we had a production line going. Like that's how it felt. Like I was so excited, and uh, now I think back to how small and cramped we were. Only using one side, one one side of your yeah, garage. Because I didn't want to have to park my HHR outside. Oh my god! Like how did we even move in there? You barely did. I mean, most of the time it was just me, and then right, when we right. brought uh, Billy on, you know, that made it tough. And that's kind of what pushed us to and and the, the idea that you were going to come on too and then there's going to be three people oh, like we yeah. can't do it there, there was like almost no option it wasn't going to work so it pushed us to get an industrial place yep Big well, those, high yeah. of it. those um inconvenient well i shouldn't say inconveniences that those those limits constraints constraints yeah they they really are great motivators yeah and um, it's it's a good uh, barometer, so to speak, of like when to move, when to do the next thing. Um, you know, well, you that, and I. That should be you know advice for anyone out there that's starting or looking to start their own business too. Is that there are times where it gets con constraining and gets stressful, but use that as a motivator, not a. Um, uh what would be the opposite of it don't let it get you down and make you want to quit oh Just yeah problem solve overcome and grow from that yeah you know uh i've i've noticed i do it with my son and i i took this lesson from starting the business it's kind of like you know he would he'd fail at something 
and I'd get excited, and he wouldn't know why I was what I had why I had a smile on my face when he failed. And I'm like, I'm I'm like, no, 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 this is a good thing. This is like this is one of the failures. So you got that out of the way, you're gonna you're gonna succeed, you know, in the future. So yeah. Just keep going, you know, don't stop. And um you can see the confusion. It didn't add up to him. But uh I try to get him excited about failure and I even seen him, you know, lose something or try to figure out a different way to do something. And whereas before he would get frustrated, now he looks at it as an opportunity for um, ways to experiment, ways to solve problems. And let me tell you, running a business, you're solving problems every day. And if if you let a problem get you down or stop you or or be in, be in an, um, an impeding force you know, you lose so much productivity, you might even stop altogether and, and want to give up. But uh, yeah, we use those as motivators. We use those to, to kind of push us. It's like uh, Jim Carrey said, he's like, he just shifts into another gear. You know, he's like, I don't know how this is going to write itself, but it will. And yeah, uh, Ed and I do the exact out. same thing. Yeah, we just figured it out. I was searching mm-hmm. so hard for a fan of the new amp rack I built it was deflated. And again, and the found Fanny was all over. Just, oh man, thanks, Darren. That's great. What a great yeah. story. I thought that deserved a highlight. Yeah. Oh, that's great. We appreciate it very much. We we build it for you guys to enjoy. So it's good to know that you are enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's you know I I've um, they're few and far between, but there are people in this industry that. Um, they're they're in it for the business and not the excitement, and I don't get that. It's like when Ed and I were in high school, this was like playtime. This was this was fun. We had to figure out a way to make money at it because we liked it so much. It's like uh, why? What do they say? Uh, you love love what you do, and you won't work a day in your life or something like that. Yeah, something. It, like that. We had to like find a way to get money from this <laughs> we're still trying to figure that part out. well <laughs> yeah it's true does anyone remember this guy what i can't see it yet it's a little dusty or this guy Just showing off because I think it's uh, to the tail end of our stream. It's, a, it's at an hour, right? Or 53 minutes we're at. Um, so we're going to have to get going. Uh, Robert Pruitt, keep pushing, guys. Don't give up. I love all you do. Both. I love that you both. I love all that you both do. Got it. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Um, and. It looks like Jeremy started his own business. If while we're still on for a minute, you feel like plugging your business, if it does you any good, then feel free to give us the name and everything. Yeah, plug it in, like into the socket. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you keep being awesome. I think uh, it's good to get feedback. And Not when you're yeah. talking into a microphone, though. No, it happens, though. Um, we we've, we've said this before, but we plan on doing this more regularly. I actually wrote down kind of um, a a um, a show program mm-hmm. with segments and ha- estimated times in those, so we at least reach that level where we're planning a regular show. Mm-hmm. I think the holiday here is kind of throwing a wrench in starting it right now. So after things might cool down after Black Friday, Cyber Saturday, Sunday weekend, whatever the heck it's called. Yeah. Uh, after that, then we can maybe settle into a regular schedule to do these live streams. Mm-hmm. Seems like there, there's at least a handful of people that um, enjoy it. So why not? Right. Yeah. Especially that, that we're hopefully coming out with, you know, more products in a more concentrated time frame. Like I looked at the past few products that we've come out with and there was almost a year in between mm-hmm. and we've gotten a lot better at that. Um, yeah, now we have team members here 
yeah. that can help with production while development goes on. Yep. So 2022, there is at least three products that we're definitely coming out with. It's just a question of when. And then there's also more on the list, which if we can get to those, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, that's the plan. And we'll talk about them as we get to them. Um, but all right. Jeremy said it's a local business, plumbing and electrical. Well, oh, OK. Uh, whatever, whatever your business is and whatever you're doing, hopefully it keeps going well and that you enjoy it. Because like Rich said, you know, do what you love and you don't work a day in your life. Um, it's somewhat true. I would say there is stress. But it's like that stress is is acceptable. It's worth it to a point um, where you know the payoff, even if it's not monetary payoff, the payoff in the end is that your business and thus your love of your life is improving. Mm -hmm. So so it's less stressful in that sense. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, the new voltmeters, yes, we showed those on the last video, so I wasn't planning on showing them on this one, but they are on the site and available. Um, yeah, we I just uploaded the uh, the USB chargers and voltmeters, the, the capacitive touch switch ones. They're on the site as well. Um, I also kind of want to get you guys feedback. I was thinking about adding purple and white to the USB voltmeter and USB voltmeter with the switch. Because right now we only have red, green, and blue, and since USBs, you know, they're not—they're like the least popular of the voltmeters. But um, you know, I was thinking about adding purple and white, and I didn't know if uh, people would buy. So it's them. a USB charger that is the same size, same cutout as these voltmeters. So it has dual USB plugs and a voltmeter hidden inside that will come on with uh, those. Have the button, right? Right, Rich. I uh, I was reading. I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> oh, the USB voltmeter has a has a button. We have yeah, yeah, yeah. It has it has a capacitive touch switch, just like the uh, single voltmeter does. Yep. Okay. Trying to open this new pack of batteries real quick before we sign off. Robert says he needs to make a spark hi-fi wire happen. Um, what would that look like? I wonder. What is it? Does it have like alternating logos or something? We can OEM it for you. <laughs> We've actually done that a few times. We, we set up OEM relationships. Guys had ideas and things they want to come out with, but they can't build it on their own or don't know how or don't want to. And so they let us do it. So let us know. I ordered the regular one with the switch, then saw the one with the USB option the next day. Ah, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> Scott likes the idea of a uh, sparked hi-fi collab. Hey, we'd love to, man. You know, we're, we're very big on partnerships. Um, you know, I, I see competition in the industry and I don't get it because there's plenty of market share to go around. And plus a lot of these guys, you know, we're all doing the same cool stuff in different ways. Um, I just, I just think partnerships, you know, accelerate things and make them go faster and better. And so we're all for it. Absolutely. Purple and white. Okay, David. All right, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can get that done. Hey right. Ed, should yeah. We, should we um, mention now that we know it can be done? Oh, I didn't tell you that. Yeah. So uh, the uh, PCB revision, mm -hmm. they they've accepted it. So it's it's going to happen. Okay. How about? Um... Our next live stream, we we show some of that. Okay, okay, all right. That that'll be next week, probably. So yes. at least it'll be further in time along that project. Because we have we have samples uh, that we can demonstrate and show you guys, so it'll be fun. Yeah, and I already took video clips, so I can make it on a TikTok. So um, I I don't have a lot that I do regularly, but if you are on TikTok and want to follow Sparked Innovations, we're on there on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, all of it. We're going to attempt to be more active on all the platforms. Because one day, one of them might fail and crash and people leave it. So we'll have to still be active on another one, you know? Yep. <laughs> that, that's the way of the world. Um, yep, I'm, yep. We're still on MySpace, probably. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> um, 
but all right yeah we got to sign off it's it's at an hour now so uh we do appreciate everyone hanging out hopefully you're being safe and you're gonna have a nice uh week with family friends whatever you're doing if you don't celebrate that's great too uh just just be safe because i know tonight when i went out earlier rich uh, oh dude food the, the traffic was already picking yeah. up yeah um traditionally it's been the worst travel weekend or week of well the today year. it's the day today is the worst travel day yeah the day before thanksgiving yeah right it's also traditionally a party night um so anyone going out just be safe and there are going to be checkpoints everywhere so oh, yeah. uh, i've seen them before where i'm leaving the bars with my buddies and there's checkpoints grabbing people so um not telling you that to go around it telling you that to not drink and drive <laughs> don't do that be designated or have a designated driver or stay home because it's nice mm -hmm. to have family and friends over too so yeah um happy right. thanksgiving to everybody yes happy thanksgiving guys everybody yeah everyone in the chat and that if you're not in the chat and you're watching this later and it's after thanksgiving happy today <laughs> happy holidays happy whatever it is today yeah. so all right signing off guys see you next Take time care. see ya Goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs>